and freaks, welcome. Today, I'm going to be doing a review on Commodity, a discovery set from the brand. There was one fragrance that I previously owned called Milk and I absolutely loved. So I was online the other day and I saw this discovery set and I'd never tried anything else from the brand. So we do have Milk in here with some others that I've never tried. So I'm super excited because I know that Milk one was phenomenal. If you're new to my channel or perhaps you've been here before, please don't forget to subscribe, hit notifications and like this video. It really does help to support my channel. Thanks guys. Okay guys, so this is the discovery set here. It's very sturdy packaging, very luxurious feeling. Okay guys, so you just slide it out like this and you're met with, um, I'll actually just give you some information about the bold space. So I was a little bit confused when I heard about the bold space. Basically what Commodity do is they cater their fragrances for people's strength preferences. So if you're somebody who likes a bold, loud fragrance, there is a bold version. If you're somebody who prefers a more softer, even, you know, sort of a skin scent or not as loud, they have three tiers. So I thought that that was pretty impressive considering there are a lot of people out there who may love a fragrance but may suffer headaches or, you know, just don't want an overwhelming fragrance on. So I actually picked up the bold set because anybody who watches me regularly would know I like my fragrances to be loud. When I wear them, I enjoy loud, boisterous fragrances, probably just like how I am, loud and boisterous. So this one is the bold set, just to clarify. Okay, guys, so the first one we're going to talk about is the fragrance I mentioned earlier that I'd owned and I loved, and it's called Milk. It's this sweet, warm, marshmallow, mahogany, tonka scent. It is just delicious. If you like the idea of a sweet, uh, sticky, gooey marshmallow soaking in warm, slightly spiced milk, oh my gosh, that's what this smells like. Seriously, it's so good. I'm definitely, like for sure, going to purchase this online after I film here because I'm smelling it again, man. Oh my gosh. It's also, it's more of a grown up marshmallow scent. It isn't a young, youthful marshmallow. And it also is not too sweet, but it gives you just enough of that marshmallow sweetness to be addictive and to give you that gourmand aspect but I think it's that milky spiciness that really balances it out. It's just beautiful, definitely recommend this one. The next fragrance we're going to talk about is Paper and the names of these other fragrances kind of confused me and also made me think I wouldn't like them, honestly. Obviously Milk, the one we just talked about, it's pretty self-explanatory and it smells like milk. So if this one legitimately smells like paper, I mean, who wants to smell like paper? Okay, look, honestly, would I call it a bad scent? No, I think it's because I had so much built up from the milk fragrance because that one was so good. And this one, it, it just isn't my scent profile. You know, there are aspects I liked in it. There's, I think there's some sandalwood and stuff in here, but it, it's focusing a lot on the molecule uh, note in this. And it's also quite linear and very light, which is not, again, a fragrance, you know, that I would go out of my way to spend hundreds of dollars on. So I think that the commodity fragrances are around the $200 mark for 100 mils. There's nothing off about it or bad. It's just nothing that I would ever, like, grab to wear. It's not sweet. It's not gourmand. I don't think it's an overly complex scent. I think it smells a little papery big surprise i guess i mean it is a nice enough woody molecule scent if that's your thing it's it's just really not my thing so i would not purchase this one no okay guys so the next one is called moss and judging of the name if this is the route we're going um i don't think i'm going to like this one much either but let's give it a go and see oh okay this one opens up extraordinarily fresh, zesty, and like wakes you up in an instant. It's got that fresh, almost cologne-like vibe happening. 
It has some bergamot and juniper berry in it, and I definitely get patchouli and earthiness with this one. It also smells very masculine to me. So, you know, on a gentleman, as a fresh, uh, fresh zesty scent, sure, for especially in summer, I think definitely would be nice to smell on a man. But obviously, in terms for for myself, it's just way too masculine for me personally. Okay, guys, so the next one is called Velvet. And by the name, I can't really judge if I'm, you know, going to like this one or not. But I guess we just spray it and we see. Oh, no. No. No, no, no. This one, honestly, to me, smells exactly like food burning on a barbecue. Like, oh, no. I mean, unless you really love barbecuing or something, I couldn't imagine anybody wanting to walk around and smell like this. But everybody has, you know, different scent preferences. There was notes in this fragrance like rose, amber, patchouli and ladanum. And I'm not getting any of them. I am getting burnt, crispy, barbecued, food that's been way too overdone, maybe don't get it i really don't i think evidently guys you can guess i do not like this fragrance i'm struggling to understand where this concept came from i mean obviously if the perfumer was a an active barbecuer and really loved you know the smell of barbecue but i mean i love the smell of barbecue too i just don't want to walk around smelling like a barbecue guys this one's an out for me. Definitely not. Okay, guys, so the next fragrance is called Gold. Again, judging from the name, I can't tell if I really like this one or not. Let's do it. Okay, this is funny because there, again, were notes in this fragrance that, you know, were very exciting for me or seemed like they'd be right up my alley, but it's actually reminding me of a fragrance that was a recent blind by fail. Um, which was Baby Cat by YSL. I am getting not dupe vibes, but I'm getting a lot of similarity here. It's like it has this promising coldish vanilla and then just like Baby Cat, but it's got this weird chemical ending that I just cannot overcome. Granted, this one, you know, is still $200 a bottle, I think. Baby Cat was, you know, nearly $400, so, but... It is really reminding me of Baby Cat by YSL, which I didn't like. The final fragrance is called Book. Yep, it's, it's called Book. I don't know. I'm not, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this one. Let's give it a go. Big surprise. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. And another big surprise is that it smells legitimately like a stuffy old binded library book i mean the name didn't lie i guess i mean i know that there are fragrances out there that are catered to this kind of library book scent like replicas um done one and there's even i think one other same when i smelt the replica one um i don't get it but that's just personal for me and my scent preference but i've never woken up and gone geez you know i really wish that i could smell like a stuffy library today or a book that's just me am i nuts um this one if if you do enjoy that kind of woody book paper like almost musty or dusty smell definitely sample it if that is what you enjoy but for me personally i would never buy this i would actually pay to stay away from it so that's just that's just the truth i'm sorry Sorry guys, I just, I put the scent strip down to move on and I picked it up one last time. And the longer it's sitting on there, it's now morphing into grass. So library book and grass, still a no-go for me, but I just wanted to add that. Okay, scent freaks, so that is my commodity review. Look guys, I know we started off on a really great foot. Um, it really went a little skewed though, didn't it? Look, I love milk. Um, I'm thankful to Commodity for making that fragrance. They did an astounding job of creating a marshmallow scent that smells both unique and delicious with so many out there. So definitely appreciative of that and we'll pick that scent up. 
But in terms of these other ones, guys, I'm at a loss. I I don't understand it. Everybody perceives scent differently. Everybody's tasted differently. I get that. But why would you want to smell like a burnt barbecue or grass and a library book? Anyway, guys, thank you so much. If you have any questions about these fragrances, shoot it in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much, Zen Freaks. I love and appreciate you all and I hope to see you next time. Take care, guys.